This is, of course, uh, five postponement, postponements of Platfield's listing on the JSC. Finally going ahead today, why now? Uh, well, the, the, the timing cannot be better. Um, yeah, this has been long coming, indeed. Uh, you will remember that um, we spoke of this in 2008 uh, when the markets were very attractive. But when we spoke of it four days later, uh, we saw a crash that uh, required us to go back to the drawing board. Where you look at uh, you know, the improvements in metal prices today, it essentially says this is the right time. Well, uh, we're effectively looking at uh, being pivotal to this listing, the raising of capital uh, uh, with the platform to raise 200 million rand. Uh, run us through how this capital is going to be used because, as we know, Platfields is an exploration company and uh, at a very capital-intensive stage at this point. Uh, well, when you look at uh, you know, s juniors in general, you'll find that uh, those are the sort of numbers we always talk of. So 200 million in the greater scheme of things is actually at the lowest band of uh, uh, expense uh, to prove up any uh, viable project. Uh, we've got uh, about uh, uh, two uh, uh, PGM uh, projects. Uh, in the Eastern Limb and we'll focus on those. In particular, uh, LIGA. Um, we'll spend a lot of money on LIGA proving it up because that poses a potential for um, a swifter mining uh, in the shorter term. Um, just you, you mentioned 200 million at, at the bottom end of the range. Does that mean you're going to have to be going back to the market to raise more capital going forward to fund these projects? Uh, when you look at the uh, LIGA project in particular, uh, it's such that uh, it's open pitable, meaning we'll be able to bring it up to uh, production and uh, in a way have it uh, uh, pay for its own expenses. Uh, we're likely not to go back to the market in any significant way, even if we have to. Bongani, um, I, uh, I just want to ask from you in terms, if you can talk a little bit towards the, uh, the um, real intent of, of, of the company to take it from the current exploration phase to an uh, uh, operator and a, and, and a developer. Um, just the experience and, and, and the real um, intent to actually take the company to that route. Uh, I, I mean, uh, what you, you have to understand with Plantfield is that when we look at uh, projects, uh, for instance, we make sure that the projects we look at will not be too expensive to bring into production. There are no complicated environmental issues. There is easy access to infrastructure and so forth. So by that alone, that principle stance makes us uh, very serious about bringing these projects into production. Uh, and that is the intention we have. Well, uh, looking at some of your operational challenges, Bongani, because we know that uh, for now you have uh, two near-surface platinum group metals exploration projects in the pipeline, one near-surface gold exploration project as well. So one would assume that depth, quality and need to go deeper, not as much of a concern for you right now. What are some of your operational challenges? Uh, really, what we have to focus on is to raise the money. Um, in the first quarter of next year. That is the only issue that uh, is before us right now. And uh, our idea uh, to further this thing further is uh, to look at consolidation around the areas we operate. Uh, so we'll be uh, very much a consolidator uh, and make sure that the projects uh, that we have make more sense and will have longevity. And uh, we can uh, indeed begin mining pretty, pretty quickly. Mungani, how about discussions with Anglo Plata over the Tiger Port property? Because I understand there is an overlapping rights there, and you're hoping to come to some sort of amicable arrangement. How, how far advanced are, the, are those discussions? Uh, we are talking to Anglo. The discussions continue. Uh, I'm not able to expand further than that. Uh, yeah. Safe to say. Uh, uh, I can ask uh, another one. Yeah. I, 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 sorry. Continue, okay. Bangani. Uh, Okay, sorry about that. Uh, no, the discussions with Anglo uh, continue, and uh, we are at the stage where we may be able to come to some, some sort of uh, commercial uh, arrangement pretty soon. Pongoni, um, a lot of people commented about the complexity of the, uh, the geolo geological complexity of the reef and the ore um, on, on, on these two uh, platinum assets. Can you maybe comment a little bit about the confidence you currently have uh, around those? 
uh, there, there isn't much complexity insofar as LIGA is concerned. It's a straightforward uh, all body and we understand it better now. Uh, they may be faulting on the project, but it will not pose serious problems uh, for mining. At least th that's the advice we have from our uh, mining engineers at this point. Kobe, just uh, a question uh, for you on uh, on this front. I mean, uh, you know, we've got a company here looking at uh, properties where mining is close to the surface. It would be relatively uh, cheap to mine as well. Uh, and that, some saying, making it highly attractive to investors. What's your view on the company? Look, I mean, uh, you know, it's, it's still at the exploration phase and, and, and for, for, for institutional investors, it's, it's, it's normally not an area that, that, that we entertain. Um, but I think, you know, for the, for the more, more for the guys on the, on the retail side, you know, it, it, it could be opportunity. It's, it, it's something exciting, like you mentioned. It is shallow. Um, there is scope for, for further improvement and, and, and better understanding of the whole body, uh, which could always give a surprise on the upside. Um, and, and, you know, I think as it is currently with our labor and our, our power situation in South Africa, you know, if you're sitting on a, on a, on a shallow uh, a resource, uh, I think it's, it's, it's viewed as very valuable. Well, Bongani, you said uh, the timing couldn't be better to come to the markets at the moment. Tell us your, your outlook for the platinum price. We've got it trading just above $1,700 an ounce at this stage, so it has improved over the past couple of days. And also the appetite you would expect from investors for a stock like Platfields. Uh, the appetite in platforms is huge. Uh, we're getting inundated with serious interest uh, across the board from South Africa to Europe and the Americas. So uh, I, I really think that uh, we're going to get an uptake of this 200 million uh, uh, rand placement that we're going to do in the first quarter of uh, the year. As for the uh, predictions of the metal prices, you know, we all rely on the same source. Uh, you know, you get the idea that uh, with uh, the upswing that you see, we're likely to have prices of about $2,000 uh, per ounce by the end of 2011. Well, we've been hearing that a secondary listing is likely to follow during the course of next year as well. Uh, what, what, what can you tell us about the jurisdiction we're looking at and the likelihood of that coming to the fore in the first half of the year? Uh, that will be too soon for us. Uh, the, the idea that we have is that we want to be heroes here at home fast. You establish the market, you get grounded, uh, and then you can look at... Uh, uh, offshore markets. Indeed, there will be one area we'll look at. At this point, we are looking at various options. Kobus and Bongani saying that platinum could reach $2,000 an ounce by the end of 2011. What was your outlook for the platinum price? What would the drivers be to get it to $2,000 an ounce by the end of next year? Yeah, look, I mean, it's, it's, um, it's, it's definitely possible. Um, I think you, you sort of definitely seeing supply on the supplier side being slower than, than a lot of people hopes for. I think we're continuously seeing people uh, pulling back some of their capex, some of the, ma the bigger players or the major players um, pulling back some of their capex. So you're in generally talking about a, sl a, a slower delivery on the supply side. Obviously on the demand side you, you need a fairly strong recovery I think on a global perspective, especially for platinum in the, in the European area where you've got your uh, light duty diesel vehicles. Um, we've seen a nice improvement in that market. Um, if, we, if that can continue and, and, and we could see uh, the alternative investors i.e. in the ETFs and, 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 and physicals on, on the metal uh, you know, being strong, then I think it's, it's, it's definitely a proposition. Well, Corbis, let's leave that discussion there for this morning. Oh, that Corbis Nell off standard joining us live from our studios in Cape Town, while Bongani Mbindwani, who's Platfield CEO, joined us from our uh, studios in, at the JSC as well. And of course, Platfield is just one of the companies that the JSC's main board welcomes today.